Hi, I'm Ava, and today is Friday, February 5th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This was having a Valentine's Day bake sale on Tuesday, February 9th for cohort A and Friday, February 12th for cohort B. Today is National Eat Ice Cream for Breakfast Day. In 200 BC, King Tang invented ice cream. King Tang is the first king in the Shang Dynasty in China. This kind of ice cream was made with buffalo milk, flour, and camphor. Until the 1800s, ice cream was exotic, rare, and only for the wealthy. In 1940 to 1970, ice cream was constantly being sold at grocery stores and ice cream parlors. Now, the United States produces about 1.6 billion gallons of frozen dairy. To celebrate, we have Taryn asking some students and teachers a question about ice cream. My favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate chip cookie dough. My favorite ice cream is cookies and cream. My favorite ice cream flavor is banana. My ice cream flavor is chocolate with Oreos. Hello, my favorite ice cream flavor is uh, chocolate peanut butter cup. Hola, my favorite ice cream is tin roof sundae. My favorite ice cream is oh, peanut good. butter chocolate chip from Alara's. My favorite ice cream is cookies and cream. I have Jimmy's on the ice cream. Cookies and cream, a cone with Jimmy's. Preferably rainbow Jimmy's. My favorite ice cream is the chocolate blue bunny mini swirls. Okay, so I have a really specific favorite kind of ice cream. It's Ben and Jerry's cinnamon buns. This is one kind of addicted to coffee and the other is totally different black raspberry favorite ice cream is tin roof sundae favorite flavor of ice cream is strawberry hi everyone i'm daniela giraldo and i'm going to be announcing some things for this week so your books are now on sale they are 20 dollars, and i highly encourage you to buy one the link is down below so please check it out they will be delivered in july special announcements for any eighth graders the yearbook needs your most adorable baby pictures. Please send it in by February 26th and any questions please email Ms. Weber. Thank you! vaccines have been offered to people 65 years and older, people 16 and over with underlying medical conditions and some essential workers. The current vaccine have a 95% efficiency rate. You get two injections that are given 21 to 28 days apart. The vaccine works by making your immune system recognize COVID and make antibodies for it. Don't worry, you can't get COVID from the vaccine because it doesn't have a live virus. Last week, Mitsuchi got the vaccine and vlogged it. All right, friends, the Pitman Pitch crew has asked me to vlog my experience today. I am heading out to go to Vineland and Spira Medical Center to get my first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great day. Our process, I promise Pitman Pitch right. kids. Go to the right. We're almost there. All right, I just went in. I got my shot. It was super easy. My husband is mortified, but I asked him to give me a sticker. It was awesome. It didn't hurt. We had to hang out for 15 minutes just to make sure that nobody was allergic to anything and we're good to go. I mean, the whole process took about 22 minutes. You guys will be fine. It'll be awesome. Have a great day. The Pittman Middle School Student Spotlight is designed to recognize one or more eighth graders that model Pittman Panther pride in their academic, social, and athletic endeavors. The Student Spotlight will celebrate individual achievement that not only values academic success, but also elevates awareness of students' contributions to our middle school culture and overall Pittman community. Students who are nominated should exhibit academic responsibility and demonstrate ex excellent behavior in and out of the classroom, which includes being respectful to both teachers and peers. 
For the month of November and December, we have two student spotlights to share. Our first student has been a role model to peers, has notable consideration towards others, and demonstrates academic excellence. She shows acceptance and tolerance in the differences of others and has a positive attitude. She also demonstrates a high level of integrity and trustworthiness. Throughout this year, the student has continued to be positive, polite, respectful, fun, upbeat, and kind. She's a leader, not a follower. She gives her all even when we may not be doing what we usually do. This student is a dedicated soccer athlete, excels academically, and did a great job with the pit and pitch. She is kind and helpful with her classmates, has a positive attitude, and is always willing to help. Our first student spotlight goes to Elena Williams. The second student is being recognized for being a role model to peers, showing notable consideration towards others, academic excellence, responsibility, perseverance through obstacles, and exemplary character. She continues to have a positive attitude, good daily attendance, and no excessive tardies. This student demonstrates honesty, integrity, trustworthiness, and, expect, and respect to the student body, staff, and faculty. She was always prepared for classroom activities and is an incredibly diligent worker. She takes great pride in her work and holds herself to high standards. She wants to ensure that she's doing her best at all times. She's always in a great mood, always has a positive attitude whether online or in person, and she's always willing to participate. The second student spotlight goes to Alexis Duffy. Hi, I'm Jacob Renzel, and this is my top five things to do during your virtual snow day. Number one, eat some really delicious baked goods. If there aren't any in your house, bake them. Number two, draw on anything you like. It doesn't have to be. If it's something important, don't draw it. Just draw on like, I don't know, this sheet music. Number three, find some... Find some card games and some people to play it. If you don't have anyone, just play solitaire. Number four, go outside and find someone to, to have a snowball fight with. I'm not out there because I hate the cold. And number five, my top thing to do is work on some of your assignments that you, that you haven't done yet. Hi, I'm Taryn Szymanski, and as you can see, it's pretty cold out. It's going to be windy and snowy the next few days, so you might want to stay inside. Or if you want to venture out, you can grab your warm gear, because you're in for a treat. Hi, I'm Ava, and it's really windy at my house today. So this is what's been happening. We have four inches of snow and have an 80% chance of more this evening. It's cold! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm here to do a weather report on today's weather. So today is a very chilly day and as you can see, there's snow everywhere and I mean everywhere. And I don't think you can see it but it's still snowing so that's fun. So make sure to build some snowmen with your family or just have fun in the snow and hope to see you next time. Bye! Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Megan Mazzola and we're coming from you, not necessarily live, from my house. And it's snowing. It's very cold and it's snowing. And it's going to continue to snow throughout the night. And we're not going to have in-person school tomorrow because of the snow. We're going to still have live school though, so make sure to join all your classes. And I'm freezing. I'm freezing. <laughs>
We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Have a safe day. See you next Friday.